Hi everyone. Um, I thought I'd start making a few YouTube videos um, of me metal detecting. Uh, so really this is just an intro video before I actually go out into the fields. Um, I'm just really going to show you what I've found over the last year or so while I've been out metal detecting. A um, few interesting finds. But yeah, um, I hope you enjoy it. As you can see here, there's various silver coins. Um, quite a lot of them, mainly World War era, World War One, World War Two. Um, the biggest one I've got is uh, this one here. It's a uh, 1915 half crown. You can see there. Dug that out of the ground. Quite in quite good condition. Probably one of my best coins. Florin. I actually found two of these florins in the same hole, which were quite lucky. One here. And then we have here a few hammers that I've come across. Now I haven't come across a lot of hammers, only a couple. This one, my latest one actually, found last week. It's in really bad condition, like, but nevertheless, it is a hammered. It's uh, King Edward the First, is that one? Penny. Oh, what's left of it anyway? Um, what else have we got? These are mainly uh, sixpences. Show them all. Found sixpences, <laughs> shilling there, sixpence. These at the back are the thimbles that I've found. As you can see this one is one of my probably one of my most favourite finds. It's got some really nice patterning on it. I actually found that that was my first uh, first dig on a field. First thing that popped up with that, which I was really happy about. And then there's another one. This is just a yeah, bog standard thimble, silver thimble. Now none of these have got maker's marks on them either, so I can't tell you how old they actually are. Quite nice to find thimbles. This here, I've been told, is Saxon. It's a, I think somebody said it were a belt mount or something or other, but it's a really, really nice find. That was actually the only thing I found all day on one of my permissions. So yeah, it's uh, quite a nice find to be honest with you. Uh, what else have we got? Oh, my only Roman coin to date. If you can see detail on that, it is quite worn, but you can just make out the Emperor's head. I found that just a few weeks back. You can just see his face. Is very worn um, on the other side. You can slightly see a figure. I think there's meant to be two figures on there to be honest. This here is a I think it's called a dump issue 1722. That was quite a surprising find because I've not really seen any of these before. It's a George the Third, I think. It might be earlier actually, I'm not too sure. Um, what else do we have? 
Oh, another hammered here. That is a Charles I. To be honest, I don't actually know what it is. If it's a penny or half penny or what, I'm not too sure. It's really bad condition. That was the first time I'd actually ever found. But like I say, I've not found many. Quite worn. I was still thrilled to find it though. Um, these are Jettons. Now I didn't actually find these metal detecting. I've had these quite a while. Nonetheless, they are nice. I think these came out of the uh, the River Thames. Quite a few of these. Zoom in on those details. Really, this is all metal detecting finds, but I thought it'd be quite nice to put these in. So these really are all my sort of my best coins. As you can see, I've got a few sixpences. This is probably one of my favourites. It's an Edward. I was really happy when I got this guy out of the ground. Really happy. Quite detailed as well. Nineteen ten. One. We're all also one of my favourite finds. Now, I made a bit of an error when I first started detecting. Uh, I didn't really know much about cleaning coins and I used, is it silver? I used silver anyway. I got it quite shiny, but as a result of wiping it that much, I actually worn it down at the front, which I was so annoyed about at the time. But we all learn from his mistakes. I don't really tend to clean coins that much now. As you can see, the uh, the sixpence has worn down. But yeah, really nice find that. What are the shillings? Quite nice to collect. And you do, people do find a lot of them. Another one. 1920. To be honest, I can't even remember finding this one. When I was looking through them the other day, I couldn't remember where I found this one. Quite bad at the back, what they do. Now this, um, I'm not too sure what this is, I think it's a Scottish Thistle but I don't really know much about them to be honest with you, I'm sure someone mentioned it, like I say it's very warm, I'm sure someone mentioned once it was a Scottish Thistle, I don't know, some of you guys will probably know what it is. You can just see a little bit of detail on it, but it is quite worn. I have a George III here. Now, I've found quite a lot of these. Um, I tend not to put them in the cabinet, but this one were in really good condition, so I was quite happy with it. And it's the only one I've got in this condition, so I thought I could find a place in the cabinet for him. As you can see there. Quite a bit of detail on that. Normally when you find these are really, really worn down. You can just sort of see ahead normally. But as you can see with this one, quite a bit of detail. We even got a date, 1799. So yeah, pretty decent. Now below, we have various relics, uh, buttons, little medallions. There's all sorts in here. I'll just run through, through them. Or what I know of them anyway. Now this is a loom, a loom weight, or spindle, or I don't know which. Now I've found quite a few of these, and normally I wouldn't put them in this display cabinet, but 
because this had such a nice pattern in I thought it would be a shame to just put it in a box. As you can see there's quite a bit of nice detail on that. Now I don't know how old this is, I'm reckoning it's fairly old as this was found on a Roman site. As you can see it's quite detailed. Next I have these oh, medallions, I think they're made out of lead because they are quite soft. Now I've found quite a few of these in my area, I think this is a Victoria, I think they're like commemorative medals, medallions, I don't know what you want to call them. Quite a few of these I have, I've been finding. They are quite nice to be honest with you. They hold the details quite well. You can see that one is the uh, Prince and Princess of Wales. I'm not too sure who it is to be honest with you. As you can see there's some writing on there. Another another one. Some sort of, I don't know, is it a captain? There's a ship there. I don't know. They're quite nice, though. I have another one here. I don't actually know who that is. I thought for a second it may be Young Victoria, but I may be wrong. Quite warm, that one. This is a uh, military cap badge. I actually found this uh, my first day of metal detecting, which I was really happy about. So quite a bit of nice detail to it. Uh, various musket balls. I do have a few more lying around somewhere. A little one there. Um, what else do we have? A lead seal. Now this is the only lead seal I've ever found. Not a bad little thing. This, I don't know what this was. Now this was also found on a Roman site. I don't know if it's Roman or not. But there's some nice detail in it. I've not really cleaned it much. I don't really clean my items that much. Um, I like to just literally leave them as they are. This. This is a uh, a horse pendant. I've been told it's Tudor. I don't know if it's Tudor or not. Nevertheless, it's, uh, it's a nice little find. A few uh, old pennies that I've found, and half pennies. I actually have a full box of these. Um, I don't really put them on display much, but some of these were quite nice finds. Quite nice detail in some of them, as you can see. So I thought, yeah, why not? We'll make a shelf for them. This one's probably my favourite because it's the only one I have with Victoria, the, the older Victoria. It's in quite nice condition to be honest with you. But yeah, she's the only one I've got like that, so it's one of my favourite coins to be honest. 1900. So yeah, that's that really. I just thought I'd do an intro video. Um, I will be doing videos every week or every other week. Obviously it'll be out and about in the fields. 
So yeah. Anyway, thanks for watching, guys. Cheers. Yeah. So next week I will be uh, I will be out and about. So there will be a video coming. I have actually some new land acquired, and it's uh, found some pretty good stuff on it last week. So I'm hoping we can, you know, find some better things next week.